Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Ellis here. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make crazy hard beats for Travis Scott's Utopia. Of course, it just dropped the other day, and the beats on there are insane. It'd be kind of bad if I didn't make one. Of course, if you enjoy learning anything from this video, be sure to go leave a like and subscribe, and let me know what you guys want down below. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram at Ellis and yeah, let's get right into it. So yeah, now um, obviously I've got it all recorded out, we're gonna like, kind of chop it up and get it all in time. out and i feel like we could fit this a little bit yeah i'm just gonna kind of chop this up to be honest i might do it through fruit slice actually let me try that oh, hold on. oh this could be hard this could be hard That's hard, I like that, I like that a lot. Now we're gonna go straight to synth pads for this. Cause literally this kit is perfect for this sort of sound because if you don't have these sort of synths to make these sort of utopia beats, then this is literally the cheat code. Might go straight to the phrases. Oh, that could be hard. Let's get some reverb on this, so it's a bit more in the background. Uh, we're just gonna go straight to Simpaz for some uh, bass now. That's so hard. How I did that was I just put this note down like so, brought the velocity all the way down to zero. I put another one down, and I put it onto the little slider, like the little uh, ramp thing here, except, and I put it into the same spot. So now what it does is because it has no velocity, this little um, slider thing, it kind of slowly comes in. I don't really know how it exactly works, but it sounds cool, I guess. I do kind of want a guitar sound, so I'm gonna go straight to the bonus sounds right here. Oh, that can be kind of hard as well, can't I? So we're gonna try and pick between those two. I've got a little idea for this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this one just a one, like so, just hitting like that. And then I'm gonna put like a ton of delay on to the point where it literally is fully delayed. Like you don't hear it as soon as it's meant to hit. So how I'm gonna do that, I'm just gonna quickly go to delay eternity right now. I love using this trick. I'm gonna put the wet all the way up, put it to one quarter, bring this down, bring the cut off up a little bit, put on ping pong. <laughs> Like that. And now I want to go to this string uh, sound as well. Try and make a little arp sort of thing going on. Ooh, whoo, that could be hard. I like how sort of dry and processed it is. Now we're gonna try and just find like some little textures. 
So this was sick because what happened with this one was uh, when we made this, I was sending some stuff to Jack and he has all these pedals which he literally just chucks us through and literally the outcome of these sounds are just crazy. <laughs> Oh, that, nah, that is, <laughs> what the hell, man? These textures are just crazy. So there's a lot of, like, harsh frequencies in these textures, though. It's the only thing. So I'm going to pretty much go to a new channel and open up this plugin called Soothe. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, hold both of these and root it to this track only. So I'll go to Soothe, and then I'm going to go to Hard with a depth up. I was looking thinking that I can have some like vocal sort of sounds in this like vocal chops So literally I'm just gonna record my own one right now So I'm gonna go straight to, to voice memos right here and I'm literally gonna just record some weird vocal chops <laughs> Loki, like some whisper stuff like that could be cool. Oh, wait. Loki, Loki, Loki. Okay, it sounds weird, but I can hear potential, okay? Like, that part is hard. So, first off, I'm just gonna kind of get parts which I think would sound cool. I'm not sure about that. Last part's pretty cool, so let's just get that part out. <laughs> Obviously, it sounds a bit weird. Let me put more effects on it and stuff. This could sound sick. <laughs> straight to wild control free right here turn off the actual vinyl stuff and i'm just going to use the noise <laughs> i'm gonna add some distortions for this i'm gonna go straight to fruity fast distortion Might just keep the same pitch right now, but uh, yeah, let's just let's cook up. I'm gonna speed this up a little bit, maybe like 140. So I'm gonna get some like some sort of, like a bit of a combination between boom bap and like trap drums, since I've seen Travis kind of has that sort of sound with this uh, whole album. Like the first song kind of says that. If you heard the first song, then you kind of know what I mean. And that is not trap drums. I'll say that. Now let's combine some trap drums with this. So I'm gonna go straight to my loss pack. I'm gonna go to the OZ hi-hat. Sounds a little bit reverse. It sounds like, it sounds really good in the back. That's like a different bounce on. Oh, oh, 
hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me put my tag in there. Let me put my tag in there. Oh. Nah, that's rap. Listen to that part. What the? Hold on. That is crazy. That is, oh my God. I don't think I've ever made a beat and literally just jumped on my chair like that. That switch there is insane. Oh my God. Pretty much that is how you make crazy beats for Travis Scott's Utopia. Obviously, uh, this beat was more like Wonder Girl sort of style as a lot of the beats on there had this sort of weirdish sound, you know what I mean? But yeah, if you enjoyed learning from this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let me know what you guys are down below. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.